Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ant Dude, and welcome to a new Let's Play, Kirby's Dream Land 2 for the Game Boy, the third main game in the franchise. I've already done the first Dream Land, I've done Adventure in the form of Nightmare in Dream Land. Only makes sense to do this game now, uh, while the Kirby Month celebration goes on on my main channel, there's a bit of a continued celebration here. Let's say we dive on in. So immediately we're thrust into a bit of a world map here. There's only one world to select, of course, but it's good old grassland. And here, something I love, we have the opening cutscenes to each world. I love those things. I'm so upset that those are not things that they decided to bring back in future Kirby games, but it's fine. I'll be the one fanboy still crying about it. So yes, Kirby Dream Land 2. So... Third game in the franchise, like I said, there's a lot of new additions here. First off, since this is on the Game Boy, the first Game Boy game didn't have the whole thing where you can take in powers. The copy ability system was not there. That is included in this one. Uh, we'll get to abilities eventually. Uh, there is no running. This is the, the fastest speed Kirby goes. I don't know why they didn't want to do running, but I, get, I figured the screen is already so small that running would be kind of unnecessary, really. Here's our first ability, by the way. We got the parasol. Basically the same thing that uh, it always does. I believe there are eight power-ups in this game, and they all play exactly how they do in, that was bad, how they do in Kirby's Adventure. So no real surprises there. Uh, the big addition, though, are going to be in the form of animal buddies, which you could actually see on the sides of the screen. Basically what you're seeing there is the border that would show up for the Super Game Boy, I've just modified it to make it look cooler and fill out the whole screen. I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, so, also, oh, I think that's the first level done. This is gonna be a short, short episode. The first world is pretty small, but the rest of the game is long enough that it'll fill out the entire Kirby month with good old Kirby goodness. Uh, one thing you can tell here, this is benefit of the Super Game Boy, is the color that you're seeing. So, Obviously, if you play this on a regular Game Boy, it's gonna be all black and white, and it's something that also I'm like the Kirby fanboy complaining about it. Uh, in Kirby's Dream Collection on the Wii, this game is on there, but it's only in black and white. I'm not sure why they didn't want to use the color, because this looks infinitely better uh, than black and white. But it's nice too that the Game Boy Color, or yeah, just the color on the Game Boy stuff, was able to make it so the bottom can still show as many colors as it can, while the top still shows the regular four shades of color. Because we still have white, black, and then two shades of red, but it looks pretty awesome. So, here we have it, our very first animal buddy, Rick. Whenever you get onto an animal buddy, Kirby controls a little differently. The music changes, which is kind of a shame. I never liked when something takes over the music, because if the music is really good, I, even though the Rick's theme song is pretty catchy, it's a shame that you can't really hear the rest of the music. That's just another petty complaint, I guess. But as you can see right here as well, all of the copy abilities change depending on who you're playing with. So first off, we're gonna... Uh, no, I want to press the select because I want to get rid of that. I need parasol. Was that the last parasol guy? Do I have to go back? In, uh, oh, yep, okay. I'm already screwing up. This is great. And I'm back to my old Kirby ways of just running into every enemy I could possibly do. I, I don't know why. I just have a tendency to run into enemies because they're so lenient. I have six health points. So I'll be fine. And then I'll have one hit point left and then I'll be terrified. The end game is, you know, basically the same as every other Kirby game, just being shot to the top. And now we have our final level. So this goes by very, very quickly. But now in this third level, we're going to get a good glimpse to... This game's, uh, I guess main gimmick? Well, I guess main collectible is a, is a better way of putting it. So, there are seven rainbow shards that have been scattered across all the different lands. And it's up to me, of course, to go and get them. And you have to do that by having a specific copy ability when you get to a special room. A lot of times, it's not really that hard. Sometimes you gotta go out of your way to get to the rainbow shard. But, uh, that won't be for, for later on. Oh, I thought I nailed that. That was bad. Rick and the other animal buddies, it's a shame that they also aren't really brought back in modern Kirby games, but I uh, guess I'll talk about that more when I get to the other ones. So here, as you can see up top, there's a rainbow shard. 
and there's a little bit of like no music. You only hear the rainbow shard like twinkling. That's to let you know it's a very ominous setting and it's always blocked off by a special pair of blocks. This one breaks via the, the umbrella. I don't need Rick for this one, but why would I not have Rick? Rick is really cool. And in the anime, they decided to give Rick an Australian accent. Um, not entirely sure why. Rick is a, a hamster, so I don't... Not entirely sure about hamster lore as to why it would be Australian. Maybe the, the name Rick? Maybe that'd give it away. It does fit. Kinda. It's just weird. But, yeah. But yeah, that that's this is really Kirby's Dream Land 2 in the nutshell. It's very simple level design because it has to still be on a Game Boy. And we have the rainbow shards to collect. And that's, that's real about it. But it's basic Kirby goodness. And I feel like this is the Kirby game that's the least talked about in terms of the main series. Maybe Squeak Squad in there, but I feel like more people talk about disliking Squeak Squad than they do liking Dream Land 2. Dream Land 3 is another one people don't talk about, but that's for a later date as well. And now... We're already at the boss and take a guess who it could possibly be. Oh, hey, it's wispy woods, but he's sleeping He's sleeping yet. He can still attack That's very oh boy. It's very determined of him. Oh boy I want this cuz I can just wreck him as you would expect just stand here and do this for a little bit Take off his health very slowly oh, There we go woke him up and really not much changes. Oh Yeah, he puffs a little bit uh, so he's definitely a little bit of improved. He had a bit of a trim uh, compared to uh, Dreamland One and Adventure. His uh, his head is a lot smaller. They cut off a lot of his branches. Uh, maybe he thought that it was maybe he thought it was weighing him down, but uh, we still beat him. So it's, it's it's Wispy Woods, man. I can't even. It's Wispy Woods. He's a joke and he's done and he's crying with that one tear that's just permanently fixated onto his into his eye. And while you think we're done, not quite yet. So the way to get to 100% in this game is very odd. If you complete the game all the way through and getting all of the rainbow shards, I believe that leads you to either 97 or 98%. I forget which one, because there's another percent that's very weird, and I'll get that at the end. But if you go back into the boss room, there's a mini game to play. It's a bonus chance. So we're going to try doing this. I'm gonna get rid of that actually that having an ability would be very detrimental right now so For all of these bonus chances they take the boss and sort of modify it uh, In a mini game sort of way to where he's shooting off stars and apples if I get hit once the game ends The goal is to get every single star Um, And I do think you need to get a perfect to get that extra percentage. I think even if you miss one it won't work um, so it takes a lot of time because if you fail the door closes and I think you just have to beat a level for it to open again uh, I forget but honestly that's gonna happen. Th th there's no way I'm gonna nail all of these my first go It would be fantastic if I did but uh, not gonna happen, but I perfected that one Boom So that gives you an extra percentage and as you can see the door closes. I don't understand why that's a thing Why the door would close even if I failed but, that's gonna wrap up this first episode of, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2. Okay, again, it was very short, but there are seven worlds in all, there's gonna be seven videos, it's gonna be a good time. Next time, we're gonna go over, over to Big Forest, with more fantastic music, that's my big takeaway from that level, but we'll get to that next time. Thank you all for watching, hopefully you all enjoyed, and as always, I will catch you dudes next time. Bye-bye!